Remove an ErcoLock Pro disc from its packaging. Enter the proper material and the thickness to be thermoformed. Remove the disc cover ring and place the ErcoLock Pro disc. Be sure to place the soft side down towards the model and replace the disc cover ring and tighten completely. Place the ErcoLock Pro disc under the heater. Then using the Isolac separator, paint the upper model completely and allow to dry. Also, paint the opposing model. Now use the granule cover template over the steel granules. Prepare an Urkel lens sheet to create the flat bite plane. After heating is complete, remove the disc frame and thermoform. Place an Urkel lens sheet between it and close the occluform. Remove the Urkel lens and imprint the opposing bite. Hold down firmly. Be sure the incisal pin is completely seated on the occluform frame. Allow the disc to cool completely before removing. Remove the disc foil ring and lift the disc frame. Remove the model container from the unit. Loosen the Allen screw and be sure the granules is over a container. Now we will remove the model. Using the Fisher Burr, you will cut the splint away from the disc. Using 10,000 RPMs, begin to cut the splint away from the disc completely. Note, cutting the splint off the model will damage the model. We suggest a second model be made prior to starting the thermoform procedure. Once you've cut the disc, remove the splint as shown. Now you're ready to begin your trimming. Using the cross-cut carbide, begin to fine-tune and smooth the edges of the Urkelock Pro. You will note how easy it is to trim away all flash and begin to contour the splint. As shown, you can see that there has been some relief around the anterior region. Any type of modification to the edges of the splint can be made. Now begin to feather the palette area and continue smoothing the splint.
Now using the Lisco S disc, go around all cut areas and begin to smooth the splint. The Lisco S disc is ideal at 10,000 RPMs. Be sure to remove any sharp edges. Then using a polishing paste with a cotton wheel, begin to high shine the splint. As you see, Urquilock Pro will shine up to a very high shine and produce a sparkling clear transparency. You've now completed an Urkel Lock Pro Hard Soft Splint. How to make a 4mm Urkel Lock Pro Bite Splint with flat plane and posterior disclusion. The procedure for fabricating an Urkel Lock Bite Splint with posterior disclusion is essentially the same as fabricating a flat plane bite splint. Utilizing the construction bite, Articulate the upper and lower models into their proper relationship and tighten the joint screw. The construction bite minimizes the need for possible occlusal adjustments at the delivery appointment. Now open the incisal pin and remove the open bite. This open bite provides the thickness needed to compensate for the splint. Follow the same heating times for the Urkel Lock Pro. Once the heating is complete, begin the thermoform. Using the modified Urkel end sheet behind the distal surfaces of the canines, lightly press the opposing until the anterior teeth touch. By using the modified Urkel end sheet in this fashion, you have created a splint that will contact all of the opposing teeth and centric occlusion and will contact only the anterior portion during the lateral or protrusive movement. Use a piece of Urkelen to pull some of the material forward in order to make ramp for the anterior teeth. Also pull material up at the cuspids. Allow the disc to cool completely before removing the splint from the model. Now follow the same procedures for trimming and adjusting the splint. You have just completed an Urkel Lock Pro bite splint with posterior disclusion.